Hey guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogtober. <laughs> okay, so I have never done a video every day in any month of the year. <laughs> so I'm going to give this a shot. I thought it would be fun, and I thought the month of October might be a good time to try it out. Okay, so what I was thinking about doing is I'm going to do, uh, there'll be like three sections in each little short video each day. The first section, I'm going to do a little mini project that I'm going to show you and the the mini projects that I'm going to be doing all come from the same designer or the same YouTube channel. There's a YouTube tutorial that's dedicated to each of these projects and the YouTube channel that I'm going to be following is Laura from the ha from Happy Berry Crochet. Uh, she, I don't think she's doing it now, but she did a series where she was doing a uh, yarn scrap Friday, and she did a, quite a few little small projects with, that only took a small amount of yarn, and I thought it would be fun because I'm always looking for projects that I can use my scrap yarn with. And so I thought it would be fun to feature one of her little projects each day, and so that will be my first section of the video. The second section is I have this book that I ordered um, online. It was from the the website, website called Lakeside. Uh, I also get a catalog called Lakeside Collection from that same company. And I, I bought this book and I thought it would be fun to um, use a little bit of it each day so let me show you it's it's called brain games and it's retro trivia puzzles and it is um, flashback to the 70s and 80s okay so the 70s and 80s are when I grew up um, the the latter part of the 70s I was in junior high or middle school uh, and then I was in high school during the early to mid 80s and then of course college the later 80s and so um, that's my kind of um, oh I don't know that's my growing up days <laughs> and so I bought this book I ordered it and I thought it would be fun and there's a bunch of quest trivia questions in this book and so I thought I would read five questions each day and then um, give you a chance to comment in the uh, description box of that video your answers and then I will give you the answers the following day and then I will give you five more questions. Anyway, it's just for fun. I like trivia questions, and so I thought it would be a fun part of the video. And then the third section of the video is where you can help me out. Um, in the description box below, please answer, ask me questions that I could answer in kind of like a Q&A. Uh, section. It can be uh, questions about me um, as long as they're not, you know, I mean, I'm pretty much an open book, but uh, is, if, is, if I can answer it and feel comfortable answering it, I'll answer it. <laughs> uh, and also, of course, crochet related or, or whatever. So uh, I would have, so the third section would be like a Q&A type section answering um, viewers questions so uh, but I need your help in in providing me with the questions <laughs> so if you could help me out I really appreciate it okay so um, so this is vlogtober number one and so let's just get on with the the uh, why I'm here <laughs> anyway section number one is the mini project of the day and this is a little baby turtle right here and like I said it is a pattern by Laura of Happy Berry Crochet and she has a tutorial it was very easy to uh, put together uh, the yarns I used were uh, just scraps from some mandala cakes lime brand mandala cake so it was a three weight yarn I used a 3.0 millimeter hook okay and what I decided to do instead of a backpack buddy since it did turn out quite small now you can make you could use worsted yarn uh, worsted weight yarn and a bigger hook and make it and be turn out bigger but instead of a backpack buddy I put a little lobster claw attachment 
onto it and uh, I'm going to use it as a zipper pull for like a uh, project bag or pouch or whatever I thought it would be cute and it'd be a nice little size for a zipper pull okay so that is my mini project of the day and I will link in the description box below uh, where you can find the tutorial on how to do this and of course Laura's channel of Happy Berry Crochet. Okay, so that is section number one. <laughs> okay, section number two is trivia questions. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to ask you five trivia questions and then you can put your answers down in the description box below. Okay, let's see. And these are entertainment questions, um, current event questions, things that happened during the 70s and 80s. Okay, so the first question I'm going to put forth is, how many astronauts have walked on the moon? Okay, is it A, 9, B, 12, C, 14, or D, 15? Okay, so that's question number one. Okay. Question number two is, okay, John Williams, winner of many Oscars, Grammys, Golden Globes, and Emmy Awards, and composer of some of the most recognizable film scores in history, also composed the theme music for three of these four events. Which one, which of the following did not at one time have a theme composed by John Williams? Was it A, the Olympics, B, the Academy Awards show, C, the NBC Nightly News, or D, the NBC Sunday Night Football? Okay, so which one of those did John Williams not ever compose a piece of the theme? Okay, the theme song. Okay, so that's number two. Okay, number three is, what color is Pac-Man? <laughs> okay, number four is, which of the following superstars got his start on TV making guest appearances in Another World, Growing Pains, Dallas, and 21 Jump Street? So he was in all four of those uh, guest appearances in those shows, okay? So was it A, L Leonardo DiCaprio, B, Johnny Depp, C, Brad Pitt, or D, George Clooney? Okay, so that's number four. And number five is, let's see. I'll give you another science question. Okay, Halley's Comet last appeared in 1986. When is it scheduled to appear next? Is it A, 2041, B, 2048, C, 2061, or D, 2087? Okay, so put your answers in the description box below if you want to play along. And tomorrow I will give you the answers to those questions. Okay, so now on to the Q&A. Put that down. Okay. Um, now I don't have any questions to answer right now. So I'll just, for this first one, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. Okay. Okay, so my name is Terry, and I live in the United States in the state of Texas. Uh, I grew up in a very small little town. I live in a city now, but I did grow up in a very small town. We lived right at the edge of town, right past the city limits. <laughs> um, very small school. Um, I graduated high school in 1984, <laughs> and um, it was a graduating class of like 150, I think, something like that. Uh, small school. Uh, let's see. I was in the band. I played the clarinet. <laughs> so I was a band geek. <laughs> um, I started learning crochet when I was a teenager from my, um, a girl that was my friend at the at the time. Actually, she was my boyfriend's um, sister. Now she's my sister-in-law because that 
boyfriend, my high school sweetheart, I married, and I've been married for 32 years, had to think about it, <laughs> 32 years, okay, um, uh, I have two sons, no daughters, I have lots of nieces though, um, let's see, my older son is married, and he's a teacher, in fact, he is an art teacher in a high school here in, this, in the city, uh, very proud of him, and he's his lovely wife, my sweet daughter-in-law, is also a teacher, and she's a third grade teacher here in the city in an elementary school. Uh, my second son is a senior in high school, and I'm, we are, I am a homeschooling mom, so this will be my very last year of homeschooling, so after that I'm retiring <laughs> from homeschooling. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Speaking of homeschooling, uh, this is my 25th year of homeschooling because I homeschooled my oldest son and now I'm homeschooling my second son and um, they're quite a few years apart in age. They're 12 years apart in age. So when my older son was a senior, my younger son was in kindergarten. So when I got finished homeschooling my older son, I just turned around and started back in beginning again and went through all the grades homeschooling again. <laughs> So this is my second time through. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, I crochet uh, for a lot of charity items. I like to crochet for uh, gifts for like baby showers, wedding showers, stuff like that. Um, uh, I give away or donate uh, most everything that I make. Uh, I have been doing some custom uh, orders here lately where I've been selling a few things that I've been making. Um, just you know somebody will contact me oh can you make can you make me a hippo or can you make me a giraffe and and so uh, I've been making things like that for people um, I like to do a variety of different things though amigurumis and uh, shawls and uh, blankets and lap gans and um, oh gosh baby blankets baby items uh, toys um, all kinds of stuff <laughs> um, since I live in Texas, uh, I don't make a whole lot of wearables except for like shawls some because um, it gets so hot here that I don't need to, we don't need to wear things that are, you know, warm weather item, but just very few times per year. We might have during our winters, we might, it may get cold once or twice in the whole season and that's it, you know, so <laughs> uh, I have to, uh, I have to feed my passion of wanting to crochet by doing non-garment things mainly because our weather's our weather is so warm here. <laughs> okay, so that's a a little bit or quite a lot about me. <laughs> so please, in the description box below, leave me some questions that I can use for Q and A for tomorrow's uh, video. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so that's Vlogtober number one in the books, and so hopefully I'll be able to keep on going with this. And uh, so stay tuned and see if I go through the whole month. I'm hoping that I will. <laughs> um, so I guess that's it. So have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.